Um, I doubt my polearm's gonna do any better. Oh, my polearm, my halberd. I might as well try it, right? Try something different. With my halberd, I could also put on a coat, but why? It's not gonna matter. All right, let's see if a little bit more range is gonna be helpful. 86. It doesn't help when I get slammed on. Is he gonna do that stupid move again? No, just regular move. I dodged! Come on! Right, hitting me in the face does 86. The other one with my sword, it did like 116. God, his attacks are so slow. They're even harder to time than faster attacks. Like there, it's like, how long are you gonna raise your arm? It's like, I, I, I wanna dodge right now. No, no. <laughs> his attacks are too slow. All right, we'll switch back to my sword because my polearm was not significantly better. It might have even been worse. <sighs> I don't know how many times I'm going to bash my face into this boss, but I'm going to keep trying. Again, just so slow with his attacks. And then I get stomped on. That was my best attempt yet. He raised his arm for nine years and then brought it down in three seconds. Uh, and then he trampled me. <laughs> Excuse me, I've never seen that move before, but it was pretty slick. Wow, this is this is quite the hard hitting boss. I, I I might be out of my league here, but how do you dodge that? You, I am of the opinion that you cannot. Now the floor is lava right by him, so I can't actually touch him. Well, I hit him a few more times. Couldn't move out of the way fast enough. Hit him. Hit him some more. Chop off his wing. Yeah, I knew that move was coming. I just got greedy for one more hit. I did what? About 15% of his health there? Maybe I need something like cold. Some sort of some sort of uh elemental that is strong against fire. Cause right now just this regular ass sword ain't doing it. Ain't doing it. I'll give him a few more goes. Well, that was great. I dodged the wrong way once, and uh, then I was fucked. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, magma worm, you say. I was even ready for that one, because I know every time I'm by his tail, he does that little swing around. And I was ready for it. 
I just pressed dodge and then I didn't dodge. So I need to count Mississippi's for how long his arms in the air, I think. God, I did no damage to him. Just none. Absolutely zero. There, I dodged too late. I was counting Mississippis and I counted too many Mississippis. All right, I don't know how many times I'm gonna keep throwing my face at this boss, but I'm gonna... <laughs> I, I want like one good attempt where I get him down to half health. Uh, the timing on those attacks is just so weird because I, I forget, I forget there was, there was a YouTube video I was watching about music and this has something to do with this. I promise. Um, if music is too slow, then people can't comprehend it as music because the distance between the notes and the distance between the beats just is too much and you can't recognize a pattern. And I also think my game is crashing. Um, that's what I feel with this boss is his arm raises. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Now he swipes and... I can't make out heads or tails of when, like when it's coming. I, I, I just can't, I, I can't count it in my head. Like if it was arm raise, go arm, raise, go arm, raise, go. Like you can, you can find a beat to arm, raise, go arm, raise, go. But when it's arm, raise, go like, there's just there's no beat to that right timing timing a dodge on an attack is a lot like you know keeping the beat with music and if there's too much time in between beats then it stops being music and it's just noise i think it was an adam neely video that i watched His arm grazing me did half my health and him running straight into me did the other half. This arena is too small for him too. Like, jeez, oh Pete. Okay. I did okay the first couple of hits, but then I just fell into a pattern of get hit, be knocked down. Get hit, be knocked down. Oh, there's lava back there and there's lava right there. I felt like I got more hits in on him that time, but I'm st I still haven't gotten him down past like 10 or 15% injured. What is Bloodhound's finesse? Oh. Okay, it's a move that does that. I, I tried to time it. Maybe I got a little bit more of him dead there, but not a lot. Maybe, maybe it doesn't work. Oh no, it definitely does work. Okay, just making sure. Maybe I need to get some cerulean uh, flasks because this, this Bloodhound's finesse attack is actually doing pretty good against him. Now I'm out of it. I have no more FP. I was out of range, interestingly enough. Okay. 
Let him do his thing. Where can I walk? Not a lot of places. Ugh. Are you done? he did that move instead of the straight back which is what I was expecting and then he did that move okay but that is the best I've done he's about what would you call that 20% dead <laughs> he still has 80% of his health oh, I just need to do that but five times without dying alright get me whoops get me some flasks um get me two of the cerulean ones sure you really like making the floor lava huh you like it was such a fun game to play when we were kids let's make it real Ah, oh, it's just a one-hit kill. That's just a one-hit kill. Okay. With my new strat of the Bloodhound's Finesse. I'm getting in more hits and safer hits, I think. Because I also, like, jump away when I hit him. Stop getting hit by that attack. That's like super easy to dodge. And that's the only bad thing is the, the two Cerulean flasks because I don't have two Crimson ones. Now I'm out of heals. And I guess I could use my um, left hand. I couldn't tell what he was doing. God, could you do some other move? This is like seven in a row. It's really annoying when half the fucking arena is lava. But I did do a lot more of his health that time. I dodged right into him. Oh, that could have gone better. But I'm consistently getting him down to this much health now. I just need to... Mm. This one's rough. This guy's rough. When did the dodge button stop working? This is one shot. And it's like, I, <sighs> three times in a row. Stomp, 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 stomp. It's just annoying. Do something different. What's the AOE on that ground stomp? I was a good this far away from him on my screen. Like, that's a good four inches. Like, that's how tall my character is on my screen. So I was, if I, like, uh, I was six feet. Let's, let's say my character's six feet tall. I was six feet away from that. I dodged that attack once. I've dodged it once. I know it's possible. I still don't understand why I'm doing an extra attack after some of these. Oh. 
some reach on that. I'm I'm still getting him down there pretty consistently. Unfortunately, that's still only 15% of his health. Oh, it's the stomps, okay? I ran into... Th that wasn't there! It was under the ground! Okay, but that is by far the best fight. All right, I'm learning it. I'm learning it. I'm learning it. This is Tree Sentinel all over again. <clears throat> I just need to uh, repeat that performance when I was on that much health, but for the beginning of the fight. The move that is impossible to dodge. I'm sure it's not impossible, I just haven't figured out how to do it yet. Well, that was, that was terrible. Okay, so I think what I see when he goes up like that i was i'm always running to the right what if i ran to the left the the other thing is i could try to run under him like just run under him like when i see him pick that sword up in his mouth just dash under him oh the body slam and i wasn't ready for it i also need to try to stay in the middle of the arena like when when I when I get up against a wall, the camera gets all wonky and I can't tell what he's doing. So let's let's try to stay closer to the center. It might it might be a bad thing that I got him down to below half health that one time because now I think I can do it. <laughs> Kill me. I don't know why sometimes the stomps are so hard to avoid. Oh! Oh! Oh, that only did 296 damage to him. Zombies. No, nope, just fireball. Okay. I dodged it. The undodgeable attack. I dodged it. <laughs> All right, Stompies. Let him do his thing. Run away from him. No! No! The fucking... The fucking ground was all lava. But look, I've got him down to about 20% health. I got it. I got it. I got this. I'm learning his moveset. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Learning how to dodge his shit. Except for that stompy, apparently. When he starts stomping, I need to take the camera off of him. So I can look at the ground. Bad time to bad time to refill my FP. Okay. I've got this fight. I um I need to go to the restroom real quick and I need to I'm gonna get another drink, but I'm gonna get it. Couldn't run away from him fast enough. Wow. I don't understand why sometimes that works with the Stompies and other times it doesn't. I was getting so good at dodging that attack and I just got hit by two of them in a row.
Okay. I took a couple of bad hits there. I was a little early on that. Okay. How did I miss that? That's not the move I expected, but that was a good one. Okay. Getting better at this fight, though. I figured I was dead when I got hit with the Stompy, but it didn't kill me. This one will. We still got like 75% health, and I'm down to a quarter health with no heals. That was the first time I ever got hit by a fireball, like just straight on fireball. All right. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna go eat dinner. <laughs> Cause here was my day. I woke up at 1 a.m. because I slept on the couch last night from like 6 p.m. till 1 a.m. Played this for five and a half hours, went into work, came home from work, immediately got back on this. I might be addicted to this game. So I thought I had an idea of how to dodge those, and that was to, like, when he darts out, go just the opposite way, right by him. And that worked literally the last one he did. Not that one. Okay. Also notice that my jump slash on his face does quite a bit of damage, too. Yep, it's a stomping. What? Okay. Whatever you say, game. That one was bullshit. That's the first bullshit death I think I've had, and I've had a lot of deaths. <laughs> so for that to be the first bullshit one, that's actually pretty impressive. I got greedy there. I tried to go for a hit after the fireball, and then he raised up, and I'm like, well, I'm fucked. No! Oh, that killed me. Okay. don't understand why I could be so good at some fights and so bad at some others like we're just gonna start with the stompies Oh, he's got more in him. Just fucking kill me. Sometimes he tracks you with amazing precision when he's doing that, and sometimes it's really easy to just go, loop. <laughs> I don't understand what the difference is between the two. I just don't. Could you just not do that move? Well, he and I are running from the same thing, apparently. Okay, that was just a fireball.
I'm glad I figured out how to dodge that attack, because that was pretty much the only thing that I was always getting hit by. I don't understand why sometimes, again, like, he tracks me so easily that time. Only one Stompy. This is the first time in history. And of course, I jumped right into the lava. Right. Heal while he's over there doing that shit. Oh, I need um, this heal too. And he's doing stompies. All right. Right there. How did he track me so good there? All right, last heal. He's about half dead. Get him in his face! Mm. Mm. Holy shit! That did a lot of damage to him. Oh, there's lava behind me. Oh, and he's doing stompies. Well, I might be dead anyway. Considerably less damage to him. Okay, that's okay. Regroup. Don't get too excited. His health bar is down into his name. And he's doing stompies. Okay. And I can't get the camera right.
but of course he's gonna go out in the blaze of stompies. He's dead. Get fucked! Woo! <laughs> Oh, that took me way too long. I got a dragon heart, and I got a moon veil. I don't know what either of those is, but let's go find out. Moon veil. It is a katana. I need more decks and a whole hell of a lot more int. <laughs> okay. And uh, dragon heart. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's going to be a crafting mat. Maybe. Or one of those things. There it is. Gain the power of the dragon at the dragon communion altar. Okay. I also have 7,500 runes. Can go and uh, level up, I guess. But holy shit, I'm glad I persevered and stuck around and killed that motherfucking worm. What does this say? Return to entrance? Fuck no. There's a bonfire out here the um the special move on this weapon bloodhounds finesse that's a big ass hammer good luck uh <laughs> um really 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 helped me in that fight and that crit i don't know why some crits so I don't know how many of these fights I'm actually going to show in this video because this has been a two and a half hour long recording and I want to boil this down to like two half hour videos. But anyway, uh, other times I got the, the visceral in the eye. It didn't do like that massive, massive damage, but that one time it did 1,115. So I don't know. Maybe it was it just built up the blood loss. Anyway, uh, let's rest here. I do want to level. I want to see. I'm fairly certain that the only thing I'm waiting on for this halibird. 30 strength. So I need 10 more and faith. I need two more. Uh, how much would it be? Or what would happen if I just did the two faith right now? I can't even do the two faith right now. Faith gives me magic, fire, lightning, and holy resist. I mean, so it's not nothing. Also, look, look at how many runes I have. I might as well, okay. Level up a faith. Let me use one of these shitty runes. Where are they? Where, where are they? Oh, they're down here. What does this give me? 200. I think that was enough. Oh, yeah. It, it wasn't It wasn't over 4,000. Level up. All right, get my faith up some more. That increases my physical and strike slash and pierce defense now. Okay, so faith gives me some defense. That's cool. Uh, 39, 69, and now I'm at 53 runes. Cool, cool, cool. Um, now I just need 10 more levels, all into strength, to wield that uh, halberd that I got at the very beginning of the game. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm going to call it here, at least for now. Um, I want to go out exploring out here, because where is this on the map? Okay, I know where this is. There's a lot more of exploring to be done all around here. So, yep, that's what we'll do next episode. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Oh, you're not dead? Son of a bitch!